Marian Antonini is one of the most successful graduates in the history of the University of Toledo. The College of Engineering's distinguished alumnus in 2013, Marion's story is remarkable, not only for the plaudits he so richly earned for his accomplishments in the global business world, but for the impact he's had on the hundreds of thousands of people who have worked for the companies that he's grown to become leaders in industry. Recruited by schools from around the country out of Toledo's Woodward High School in 1948, after finishing second in his class and serving as senior class president, Marion brought his leadership skills to what was then known as TU because of its nationally respected engineering program. And boy did he leave his mark on Bancroft Street. Marion was president of Kappa Sigma Kappa, a member of ROTC, and president of the ARX Men's Honorary limited to 13 men on campus. It was Marion who led ARX's acceptance as a chapter of Blue Key National Honor Society. Blue Key still only accepts 13 upperclassmen each year, but it has grown to include women in the oversight of the homecoming parade and song fest. It shouldn't surprise you then to know that our awardee had 63 job offers upon graduation in 1952, including a letter from the chairman of General Electric who asked to meet with him personally. Instead, Marion took a managerial trainee post in Toledo with Willis Motors, staying in town to help raise funds for a new college of engineering for UT, what is now the Health and Human Services Building. Named one of Ohio's five outstanding young men of 1957 and president of the UT Alumni Association in 1960, Marion shot up the management ranks at Willis to become managing director of Kaiser Jeep. In 1967, he was recruited to become president of Prestolite International and within six years became president of its holding company, Ultra International. With the support of the White House, Marion and Ultra contributed an entire printing plant to President and Mrs. Ferdinand Marcos of the Philippines. It didn't take long for Marion to be scooped up again, this time by Xerox, where he would become President of International Operations and later Group Vice President of all domestic and international operations. More than 70,000, nearly three times the seating capacity of the Glass Bowl, worked for him. He was responsible for $11 billion in revenue and $1.2 billion in pre-tax profit, and that was back in the 1980s. In 1990, Marion became chairman, president, and CEO of Wellbuilt Corporation, a struggling manufacturer of commercial food service equipment. He turned around the firm, which was owned by Kohlberg & Company, a private equity investment firm, and was then tabbed by Kohlberg to become its senior operating principal. Now retired and splitting time between homes in Florida and Connecticut, Marion and his wife of 42 years, Penny, have two adult children, Karen and John. His awards are impressive, but perhaps none more so than when he walked the red carpet with Olympic gold medal swimmer Donna Di Verona in 1995 as an Ellis Island Medal of Honor recipient. The medal honors the contribution made to America by immigrants through the success of their children and grandchildren. A truly amazing graduate, Marion Antonini is the College of Engineering's distinguished alumnus.